How to create user stories using Jira. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you a complete guide about user stories with Jira. I'll show you what they actually mean, how you can actually use them, uh, what they can be used for. And also, uh, I will show you exactly how to create them for yourself in your Jira account. So um, let's just talk about the actual uh, user stories and what they are. So uh, I will just be using this from the actual website of um, Atlassian, which is the owner of Jira. So a user story is an inf informal general explanation of a software future written from the perspective of the end user. So basically, uh, you will write this uh, user story from the perspective of the uh, person who's re requesting the actual thing. And its purpose is to articulate how a software will, a future will provide value to the customer. Now, you may not really understand exactly what this means. So they also include some uh, examples, which should uh, really tell us exactly what stories uh, or user stories are. So here we can just scroll down. Let me just find the actual examples. Here you go. Uh, you, usually it's going to be uh, using the following structure. Usually, it's not all the time, but most of the time it's going to be like this. As a owner, for example, I want to, uh, you would want to add the uh, thing they are requesting and then the value that they will be getting out of it. So, for example, as a um, channel owner, I want to um, make sure our videos are 1080p, for example, so that we ensure high quality or whatever it may be. It's just an example. I hope you get the idea. So this is user stories in a nutshell and uh, why you would actually want to have them. So now that we know this, we can actually go ahead and just jump into Jira and show you exactly how to um, create one. So let me just exit out of here. Let me just go to Atlassian.com here where we can just go to Jira. And here we will show you how to create them. So let me just get into my dashboard and I will get back to you. So now that I have signed up to my Jira, I will create a new project to show you exactly how to actually work with user stories. So I will just go to view all projects. Here is obviously going to show you the list of all the projects that you currently have for your Jira. Uh, I will be going to create a new project. So I'm just going to click on this. And now I will need to go to, I'm going to go for software development and I will go to Scrum for sprints and all that. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on use this template. And you can see uh, the issue types that are, uh, that would actually come with this template. You can see they have Epic, we have a bug task and subtask, but also we have the most important one for us today, which is going to be the user story, uh, which is the main focus for this video. So make sure the actual templates that you will be using does actually include the user story issue type. Otherwise, you won't really be able to create a proper story. So now that we have this uh, set up, we can just click on use template. I'm just going to go for select uh, team managed. Uh, I will just name it um, user stories test. And I'll just click on next. And now this should create the project for us. Just give it some time and it should work. You can also connect your project to your Confluence space if you want to. But I'm just going to click on continue and move on to the actual user stories section. So here you have your board backlog timeline and all of those things. Now, regardless of where you are exactly, we can just start from the board. Uh, we can actually go ahead and set up the user stories very easily. So all you need to do is just go ahead and actually create an issue. And then from there, we can actually just set it up to be a user story. And again, we are going to be using uh, the same formatting for the user story. Uh, and I will show you all of this right now. So first, we need to just click on create on the top. Uh, of the screen and we would we would just want to create an issue click on create and then we would want to select the project we want to create it in it's going to be this one obviously uh, then 
the most important part here is you're going to be actually selecting the issue type to be the story. You have story, you have task, bug, or epic. But uh, again, our focus is on story, and this is the one uh, that we want. So I'm just going to select user story. So issue type, user story. Status, I'm just going to leave it as in progress or actually to do. And here is going to be the summary. So for the summary, you would want to actually input the format that we already discussed. So we would type something like as an owner, I want um, X, Y, Z uh, for or to ensure uh, X, Y, Z. So like I said, the formatting is almost usually the same. You just have to write it from the perspective of the actual end user. And it's going to be something like this. So as a title of the actual end user, and then what they actually, what they actually need and the actual request. And then lastly, the, uh, the value that they will be getting out of it. This is going to be a very short summary. Uh, which is going to help hold a very strong um, meaning and is going to help your teammates or team members understand right away what needs to be done exactly. So we have this set now, which is the summary. Now we have the description. In the description, you would want to add more details that your team members could actually use or found, find it to be useful when they are actually working on uh, the story. So... This is the main request, it's just telling them exactly what needs to be done and why. And here, you should add some instructions maybe, or maybe just let them know exactly the order of things that needs to happen. Whatever it may be that you want to add in the description, you can just feel free to add it in here. Great. Next, we have the assignee. If you want to assign it to a specific person, you can just do so from here. I'm just going to click on assign to me for the time being. And then we have labels. So we can just go ahead and actually add a label if we have already set some labels. This is going to be exclusive to how you actually want to use the labels between you and your team members. You may want to actually discuss this with them so they know exactly what your the labels that you have mean. We have the parent here also if you have um, any that you want to add. This is a new function here. Uh, if you have a team that you want to choose, you can also do so. If you have created sprints in this particular uh, project, you can also select and uh, use it. Uh, so I'm just going to actually go for the first one, sprint one. And here we have the estimate points uh, for the story. So we can actually go ahead and set this up to our needs. Um, I'm just going to keep it as... Uh, you know, five, but you would want to obviously change it accordingly. And then, then the reporter here, you would want to also add the actual person. Then we have attachment. Now, if this could be left empty, but it depends on what the actual story request was. Maybe if it's inserting a logo, then you would want to attach the logo. If it's uh, a specific video that you want to work with, you would want to attach the video and so on. So it obviously depends on you and your situation here. If you want to also link to a different issue, you can also do so from here. And then lastly, we can just click on create. Uh, and this should create our uh, user stories for us and it should be good to go. So we can just click on uh, backlog and we should be able to find it over here. If you click on it, we can see all the details that we have just set up for the actual user story. And uh, this is exactly how to create your user stories in Jira. Now you can also create them from the timeline view if you want to. Uh, and you know, it's going to be exactly the same. It's not going to be any different. So we can just click on, um, I believe we can actually change it from here if I'm not mistaken. Okay, I don't think so. This is only for Epic, but if you want to actually create one here, you can just click on create again. And you could just always create as many as you want. And this is pretty much how to create user stories with Jira. I hope you have found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching.